This is Bart Bielbar, and I'm here with Ralph Izzo, the Chairman, President, and CEO of the Public Service Enterprise Group out of New Jersey. Thank you for your time today. It's, it's a pleasure, pleasure to meet you. Um, as, as we all know, the energy industry today is filled with a number of challenges, things like assimilating renewables, the whole carbon capture, carbon trade issue, the smart grid initiative, and so forth. Of all of those challenges, and perhaps even ones I haven't mentioned, which do you consider to be the most significant? I think the most significant challenge for our industry is getting a greater amount of regulatory clarity around the rules going forward and the rules that we need that clarity to the greatest extent are in the environmental arena. Mm -hmm. So my number one priority would be seeing a price on carbon as a way of helping the industry understand what investment options it should seriously consider going forward. Right. Would you view that as a, a federal regulatory issue or a state issue or a uh, joint. It's uh, it f clearly a federal regulatory issue. It would be a mistake to try and put a price on carbon on a state-by-state -state basis. The ultimate objective here, of course, is to make investment decisions that guide us towards climate change solutions, and those are global right. solutions and not uh, local solutions. Correct. That's actually a good segue into my next question, which is, uh, we are here in Washington. What could the Obama administration, Congress, and of course federal and state regulators do to help you and, and other companies move forward? So I would, I would like to see the administration zero in on creating this price on carbon and playing an active role in the discussion. Uh, we've been trying to do a lot of things that are, are helpful, uh, whether it's stimulus funding or creating new programs to encourage energy efficiency, but those are not sustainable solutions. Uh, what is really needed is a long-term price signal for people like myself and companies like ours who invest in assets that have 20, 30, 40, and in some cases 60 years of expected life. Mm -hmm. So that, that, uh, that regulatory framework clarity, not that you have to tell me what the price is, but help, help me understand what the targets are in terms of reducing carbon so I can make judgments about what to do to meet those mm -hmm. targets. Everybody should know the rules going in, so to speak. Last year, uh, the Obama administration announced a number of stimulus grants that are directed towards the utility industry. A lot of that was earmarked for smart grid and other uh, infrastructure build-outs. How effective have those grants been? Well, it depends on what objective you're trying to accomplish. So uh, uh, they've been effective at putting some people to work. Mm -hmm. They've been effective at helping people learn some technologies that are ready for prime time and some technologies that are not ready for prime time. But again, if you think about the fact that for 30 plus years we've known that we need to do something about energy security uh, and energy efficiency, uh, people have been citing the challenges of climate change for decades now, not, not months, and we have not made progress. 2050 will be here a lot sooner than you think, and you cannot rely upon stimulus programs to get you there. Right. That's a good first step, but right. much more needs to be done. Uh, if you can indulge me with one final question sure. today. Uh, PSEG was recently announced as Utility of the Year, and it will be announced formally tonight at the conference. What does that mean to you as the Chairman, President, and CEO? It, it just means that the 10,000 men and women who work for our company are getting the recognition they deserve. That's right. And that's the greatest sense of satisfaction I get from it. That's good news. It's a terrific company. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Ralph Izzo, PSEG.